Welcome to Crypto by Sai. In this channel, I recommend some of the underrated cryptocurrencies for life changing gains. So, if you love making money and cryptocurrencies, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit the bell icon so that you're continually updated with my videos. Okay, in today's video, we'll walk through how to do uh, Uniswap transactions. Um, what What is Uniswap? So, Uniswap is a decentralized exchange to do transactions over Ethereum. And why would you want to do, it, do this instead of uh, just doing a normal trade in Binance? Is because some coins out there are not on um, major exchanges like Binance or Coinbase, and they're very uh, they have very low market cap. So you want if you want to grab them when they're low uh, in market cap and not as much outshining as other coins, and you know that it has a, a upward potential, then probably want to be one of the earlier investors in, the, in those coins. Um, so that being said, um, I would not recommend this to beginners or if you have started your crypto, crypto journey this year, like in 2021, I'd suggest strongly to just focus on stable or top 100, top 200 coins, um, make some profits, realize some profits. And once you know you're in the game, um, you start to become comfortable in your profits and then you can perhaps come to um, this area of crypto where um, you will want to get into low market cap coins and um, you know you've done your research and these are the coins, for example, you want to uh, invest before they go in. Exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. And also for small investors, this is uh, probably costlier in fees and also you don't have the luxury to buy at a certain price and sell at a certain price, so it's riskier in all terms. But if you know what you're doing, then it could pay you off a lot um, then on Binance. So, okay. Um, yeah, so with that, um, I'll just give an overview before I uh, jump into what I'll be doing. So first of all, we'll walk through what, what is MetaMask and how will we use MetaMask, which is a web wallet on Chrome, um, to do Uniswap exchanges here. Um, and for that also, we will look at how to actually, um, let's say you're looking at a coin. So how would you use some charts to know what exactly you're paying for what you're getting. Um, so yeah, first we'll look at MetaMask, then we'll explore what is Dex Tools, and then we will see uh, how to actually do the Uniswap transaction. Okay, so first of all, we have MetaMask, which is just a Chrome or browser uh, web wallet. Um, so if you just go to MetaMask.io, uh, you will see this download now link. Um, so you just have to download this extension and go through the introductory steps on uh, setting up the wallet. They will um, share a mnemonic phrase which we order uh, of some words that you need to save so that if you uh, forget your password, that could be used to recover your wallet. Otherwise, you will not be able to ever recover your wallet. So make sure you uh, save the um, order of the uh, words that are given to you, the mnemonic phrase, and then uh, if you happen to forget the pa uh, password, then you can just use that phrase to recover your wallet. So once that's done, um, you will see uh, some, the interface of MetaMask like this. So this is your um, address, Ethereum address, which can be used to uh, send or receive um, your Ethereum. Make sure it's Ethereum mainnet. So you will not see um, some Ethereum balance here. It will be zero. So we'll, we'll look into it how, how, act, how to actually put some Ethereum into MetaMask. So once you've set up your MetaMask, um, first thing you want to do is um, put some Ethereum into MetaMask. So one way to do it is through um, this uh, Binance withdrawal page. So if you're using Binance or any other Coinbase, uh, any other exchange, it will have similar interface. So you just want to be, you just want to make sure you're doing the right steps. So first, if if you're using Binance, then you just have to go to Wallet and um, Fiat and 
uh, spot and then f uh, from there to withdraw. And then you want, let's say you have some Ethereum, some X amount of Ethereum, and you want to uh, move that Ethereum into your MetaMask wallet. So you will select Ethereum here, and for here, you will just copy the address from here and paste it here. And then make sure to select Ethereum ERC20 network, which is the network that that your wallet uh, that your wallet is using. So once you once you've done that, just enter the amount, and it will show you the fees. Um, so for example, 0.5 Ethereum, it will show you this is the transaction fee, and then submit, and then it, it might take like a couple of minutes to verify the transaction, and then it will show up here. So that's pretty much it on how to like withdraw Ethereum into your MetaMask wallet. Oh yeah, once you've set up your MetaMask wallet and have Ethereum in your wallet, then the next step is to select the right coin that you want to purchase on Uniswap. So first, you can go on CoinGecko and let's say you want you want to look at Superform. So it's going to give you a rough estimate of the current price here. Um, and yeah, so you know the ticker, which is super. So you can come back to Dex Tools, launch the app. So, so the difference between CoinGecko's price and Dex Tools price is Dex Tools price is going to be real time or pretty accurate as compared to CoinGecko. Um, so from here, you will type Super Farm since that's the coin, for example, you want. And then I had to manually search the right pair because some pair were not. Even, even these two were not the right pairs. So for me, the right pair came out to be the very bottom in the search. So uh, I'll click that. And then you can also confirm um, the correct pair with the DEX score here, which is 96, so it's good enough, as in you, you're looking at the right coin. So this is the pair between Wrap Ethereum and Super. And you can see that for uh, one super, you'll have to pay 0 0.00098 something Ethereum. So this is the pair that you will be looking at at Uniswap as well. And here you can see uh, the graph for it and do some analysis if you want. For example, four hours or any uh, analysis that you want to do, you can do it here. So um, usually the Uniswap prices updated uh, updates on a min min minute basis. Um, so this is like very accurate or very closely accurate to the price you'll see in here. So, so this is um, Dex tools. Um, yeah, before you go into Uniswap uh, exchanges or transactions, be sure that you, you're looking at the right rate at right coin. And yeah, once you've done this this part, then you can move on to Uniswap. All right. So last thing. Let's actually do the Uniswap transaction. So for that, just head over to uniswap.org and click Uniswap. It will open up this interface. And for you, it's gonna show to connect your wallet, like there will be a button that will say to connect your wallet. So once that's done, like you will accept here from your MetaMask, it will, it will pop out like that and then it will ask you to connect your uh, wallet. So once that's done, it will show the balance you have here for Ethereum and then you can select the token uh, or search the token you want from here. But we're going to do a shortcut and we're going to go to CoinGecko and open uh, the Superform page and from there I will go to Markets and then from there I will just click Super to Ethereum Pair. So that will open up the exact pair. So it will show you the balance for Ethereum, balance I currently have for Super. Um, so for you it's going to be zero, for you it's going to be some uh, amount of Ethereum. And then you want to do the swap. So, for example, you want to do the max. I will show you that for this uh, amount of Ethereum, it will give you um, this much super for this rate. So, let's say um, we go here and we see that this is very much similar to um, the price here. So, it's pretty much accurate. So, what if you do the max and do a swap? So you're gonna encounter a problem that you would have like not enough gas or transaction fees. So that's why I will recommend to 
uh, let's say if you have 0 0.036 then just do it for 0 0.02 um, and then do a swap and try if that's enough to fulfill the transaction for now it's not going to be enough for me since I have just a uh, few uh, Ethereum um, and if you just use very small uh, number of Ethereum dollars that's just not going to happen so that's why I will not recommend this to uh, small investors since buying and selling will cost you like a hundred bucks in itself so for large investors sure but you will want to keep keep some Ethereum aside to actually want to sell. Like when you want to convert your super to Ethereum, then you will want to have some Ethereum left in your MetaMask wallet to support that gas transaction, which is currently for me um, not enough. So you don't want to be in the situation where you cannot sell because you don't have enough you don't have enough Ethereum. Then you will go back, put some Ethereum again. It's going to be a, a rough process. You will, it will cost you another transaction to get more ethereum into your wallet so just save some aside if you're doing let's say one ethereum worth of transaction just save um, 0 0.05 or do a transaction of 0 0.9 0 0.95 and leave the rest to um, as and when you want to sell you should have some um, ethereum left so once you do that it's gonna uh, confirm ask you to confirm this and here once you have the right amounts it will you just have to confirm and the transaction will go um, and it will take a couple of minutes and then it will land up into your um, here um, in your MetaMask wallet so that's pretty much it and make sure that the slippage is as default uh, 0.5 you want to reduce that um, it could hurt or it could end up being a failed transaction so just keep it as it is and yeah uh, just have to select ethereum super and do a swap that's how easy it is and just wait a couple minutes and it'll, it'll be there here with you and then the next thing uh, you want to do is perhaps add this in your portfolio um, the price you bought it at the amount you bought it at and then track in the portfolio um, of coin gecko so that's pretty much it on how uh, you want to go about doing initial transactions uh, set a map set a metamask then uh, find the right coin on coin gecko and dex tools and then go to the inner soap itself and yeah do the transaction the only catch is the gas fees which is some which is you can uh which is something you can track from here or uh here the lower this number the better just to be as simple as possible all right so that's pretty much it uh, for this video. Uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to uh, press the bell icon so that you're updated with my uh, uh, videos. All right. See you.